So just how big is Friday's matchup between Briarcrest and Christian Brothers? It's the biggest week. Everybody knows it's the biggest week here. Sure, on paper, it's just one of ten games. But when the Saints and Brothers meet, there is more than just a region win on the line. They win, they get bragging rights for a year. We win, we get bragging rights for a year. It's just a whole new level of high school football. Last year's meeting was canceled for COVID-19 issues. So the rivalry will be renewed with plenty of fresh faces. Because I said, hey, who's played in this game? And very few hands go up. And so something you got to go in there and you got to be ready. Just glad we get to play this year, you know. Two good football programs. History is rich, so it's a, it's a big deal. Briarcrest enters Friday undefeated and ranked fourth in the state in this week's AP poll. But the Saints know a packed Tom Nick Stadium presents an advantage for the Purple Wave that can't be overlooked. I mean, it's loud and it's, I mean, the student body is into the football game and it's, I mean, it's just what it is. And, you know, a, a lot of kids, if they've never been in that, uh, the arena, so to speak, uh, you got to go to the Coliseum and you got to be able to play. And so, it's just part of it. He's going to have his team ready to play. I better have mine ready to play. I know um, I know what they're going to do. Uh, he knows what we're going to do, and it should be a heck of a lot of fun. The fun begins Friday at 7 p.m. With the brothers and the Saints, I'm Clayton Collier.